I think there's really three things, if I had to pinpoint, that, that really got, a, got us to a point where uh, we saw significant improvement. The first thing I kind of commented on already was getting over to, to Revel cloud-based, the ability to go outside, remote, remote order taking. Uh, we actually have three to four devices that we use just in drive through uh, and it, for me, it's key to get that information again to the kitchen so that way we can keep up and you're not sitting there waiting for us. And we can buy upwards of two to three minutes, depending on how long that line is and how many people are out there taking the order. So I think that's probably number one. Number two is just engaging in competitions. So we do the whole leaderboard deal and we send out, we have a, uh, we use Slack to kind of communicate within the, the stores and you'll see competitions. Of course, we run contests, but just trying to engage uh, each operator, and I think that's probably the most important piece is to have the operator engaged into uh, wanting to compete and, and a level of uh, competitiveness. And then I think that the third is probably last year we spent a lot of time uh, in research uh, taking guest orders and seeing what was uh, the, the particular things that were kind of hanging us up from from taking that order. So. We got a group uh, together, you know, cashiers, uh, uh, managers, uh, executive level, and, and just really started digging in and listening to the order taking process. And, and through 60 days worth of work, uh, we just basically sp spent that on the menu management side. And we were able to, to not only carve out around eight seconds per meal from the order taking process, but the guests didn't didn't see any type of friction. We didn't have to interrupt them. Hey, what sauce would you like? Now, the way it's set up, it allows the, the team member to take the order like the guest wants the order to be taken.